Hello everyone, Chris Kester here again with the Champaign County Joint Information Center. I've got another video today to help keep you informed and we're going to be talking with Carl Gannat, the Managing Director of the Champaign-Urbana Mass Transit District, uh, more commonly known as MTD. Uh, Carl, can you tell us why MTD is considered an essential service? Sure. Uh, so uh, people need mobility options. Not everybody makes the same choices. Not everybody has the same resources. And so um, public transit uh, historically has certainly been uh, a mobility provider for those who are, are dependent on transit. Um, in Champaign-Urbana, we've got a lot of choice riders. We have all the students, we've got faculty and staff, we have a lot of other uh, workforce oriented um, people who, who ride the bus. And, and so while some of that has, much of that has gone away with the university being shut down, um, we, we still are carrying people who need to get to where they, they have to go. They, they work at grocery stores so that uh, those shelves can be stocked. They work uh, as a custodian at a medical clinic. Um, they're a nurse, you know, that kind of thing. But then on top of that, there's a group of people who they have no other way to get to the grocery store or to get to their medical appointments. And so, uh, yeah, it's a critical infrastructure that the community relies on. And how has MTD adapted to providing services uh, during the COVID-19 pandemic uh, to better serve the public? Well, um, we've done a, a wide swath of things. Um, First and foremost, uh, back in February even, we started a whole new regiment for cleaning and disinfecting our um, vehicles and our facilities. And so we have a very aggressive disinfecting schedule where our maintenance crews are, are getting out to, uh, at Illinois Terminal, at bus stops, um, and on the vehicles themselves and disinf disinfecting them regularly, daily, um, in many cases, uh, several times a day. And so, so that's one thing. Um, the other is we are encouraging people to only use us if they have to. Um, you know, it is a reality that the more people on, on a vehicle, then the less likely they can properly social distance from one another. And so uh, we want only the people who have to use transit to be using transit right now. Um, and then we're also, we're not enforcing fare collection right now. So there's no handing of money or passes between operators and riders. Um, we're having rear door boarding and alighting so that um, there's more distance between operators and, and passengers. And um, so those are the types of things. We've reduced our, our service levels to try to be more uh, accommodating to the, the, the lower demand right now, but we're putting more vehicles out on the street for that level of service so that we can have proper social distancing on the vehicles. If we've got 20 people who wanna ride, we wanna have two buses there, so it's 10 people per bus instead of all 20 people crammed in one vehicle. We're also using our, our larger articulated um, vehicles because they're longer, they have more space, and people can uh, stay further away. So, um, you know, I, I could keep going, but that's a, that's a pretty long list of uh, ways that we're accommodating the situation. Uh, and is there anything specifically that you're uh, doing uh, that helps protect your staff? Yeah, so a lot of that same list uh, that, that helps accommodate uh, passengers also accommodates our operators um, and the maintenance crew. So, not, you know, not having to deal with money, uh, not having people have to come in through the front door and that kind of thing. In addition to that, we have um, issued cloth masks, uh, multiple uh, cloth masks to each individual. They're washable, reusable, and um, it will replace those as people need them. And um, we've uh, issued hand sanitizer to all of our employees so they can keep that with them and always keep their hands clean. Um, and and uh, we, we have issued a sick bank that is uh, specifically COVID-19 related because if someone is not feeling well, we don't want them to come in. We are encouraging them to stay home so they can stay home and they can uh, continue to be paid. It does not deduct their time from their uh, accrued earned benefits. 
um, because uh, we think that's a benefit to the entire district and the community uh, as a whole to have the people who are not well be at home. Um, and of course, we have a lot of employees who have to be home right now because they don't have any daycare options because schools are closed and daycare facilities are closed. So we've accommodated all of that for employees. Um, for people who may not be as familiar uh, you know, with the area, uh, what are some of the other services that uh, MTD provides outside of just sort of the standard uh, buses that we see around the Champaign-Urbana, even Savoy, um, or the metropolitan area? What other services does MTD provide? Sure. So, of course, the core of what we do are, as you mentioned, the fixed route buses, the larger buses that we that we have in the community. We also do some demand response service that is open to the general public, um, like safe rides uh, on the university campus and, and out in West Champaign, there's um, some demand responsive service that we use a van for. But we also use vans for uh, an ADA service that um, people have to apply for and be eligible for. But that is a curb-to-curb uh, -curb service um, that people can get scheduled for. And it takes them um, you know, to dialysis or medical appointments, grocery store, whatever, um, but within the district. And then outside of the district and the rest of the county, we're the operator for Champaign County for C-Carts, the Champaign County area rural transit system. And so that provides transit services in Rantoul, Mahomet, St. Joseph, anywhere else in the community, uh, excuse me, in the county that is outside of uh, our district boundaries. All right, thanks, Carl. And if someone wanted to find out more information about bus routes, uh, schedules, some of the other things that you've talked about, uh, can you tell us what uh, website or phone number they can, could, uh, they can call? Yes, we have a, a very interactive website, mtd.org, and um, that is scalable for phones, tablets, uh, computers, and you can get real-time information and a lot of other static information on us as well. And, All right, and people can always call, too, 384-8188. Sorry, Chris. That's okay. Uh, yeah, three eight four eight one eight eight. I remember that from my uh, from my college days. Uh, yeah. uh, thanks again to you and all of your staff there at MTD uh, for providing a, a very valuable and essential service uh, to our community uh, in this trying time. And uh, and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Chris.